All right. So we made it up to the up the trail, and this is the abandoned uh, mine. It's a it's a real big structure, a lot of equipment and and parts and pieces and abandoned stuff. Apparently, must have been uh, good gold here because this is major operation. This building is big. Got a huge water tank tank up front and some other leftover equipment. Uh, there's a sign there that says the place is uh, contaminated by mercury. They used to use mercury to uh, wash and find the gold. We're gonna go around the front and look at the main structure on the other side. So we had to hike in because uh, for about half a mile or so, the road is closed with a gate. And the place is just a, a junkyard. There's a lot of steel parts and wheels. Uh, here's another huge wheel scattered. Don't know what, what that's for. There's another base or bracket and there's some parts over there there's a huge tank further down and they have a sign in here that says please don't take anything well who the hell is going to take this junk <laughs> and it's huge and heavy this is not this isn't something that you're not going to throw on the back of a pickup I don't know exactly how they work this machinery, but this is a, a tank with a funnel on the bottom. And there's a huge pipe coming in. I guess that's, uh, it can't be water. That, that kind of pipe can't take the weight of water, I guess. Not too sure. Here's the rest of the equipment, the building. All the electrical wires are cut. There's another shed up there. Oh, there's some people back here. Here's some more equipment. Nobody works here. This is a historical site. So, look at the size of that pipe. Yeah. No, there's nobody hunting now. Yeah, probably. Here's more equipment. Another building. So I gotta go online and find out how much money they took out of here. They got shacks just everywhere. They brought in some gravel. So they made it comfortable. What is this, the uh, grocery stores? <laughs> oh, they have a saw there. Oh, that's cool. They got a bandsaw to cut all the big lumber. Look at that wheel, what does that do? Wow, this thing is, uh, well, 12 feet high? Made out of wood all the way around. It don't matter. And this it says uh, Oliver Continuous Filter Automatic Patent. Probably made in Ohio like the other ones we saw the other day. Here's another building, private property. Hang on. Let's see what's back here. 
Oh, another pile of junk. There's a shack. Oh, there's an old cabin bay. Come here. <coughs> this is probably the first building that they made out of tree logs and this is probably the first office oh wow there's a nice refrigerator in here oh this is where they store the meat there's a cooler still in pretty good shape there's a radiator, you can't yeah, see it. Naturally. We should have brought the light. And this is a freezer. Keep locked. Well, it's unlocked, so. Somebody's putting beer, <laughs> empty beer cans in here. So this was the meat locker for meat and poultry and whatever. Actually, it's, it's pretty cool. It feels cool inside. And there's another one. There's another shack up there. There's another building here. You want to go in that one? <laughs> Let me see what's on the... Uh... It's a dry stream that runs through the side here. I'm surprised not running with water. They got a lot of cables on the ground. Yeah, be careful. Alright, let's stop for a minute.